I think Africa is worth believing in, it's worth committing to, it's worth partnering with. It is an immensely rich and various continent and we dare not let their topsoil be destroyed. It will affect you in Delaware. We dare not let the ethnic and religious and tribal conflicts overcome the staggering human potential. It will affect the young men and women from this state who join the military to serve our country. So I spend my whole life trying to figure out how can I accelerate the positive and reduce the negative forces of global interdependence. If you ask me a question about where I stand on anything, I have this sort of automatic filter in my head. And I ask myself, will this reduce inequality, instability, unsustainability? Will it create a future of shared prosperity and shared responsibilities and a genuine sense of membership in a larger community? If the answer is yes, I'm for it. If it's no, I'm against it. And it, it has become the driving obsession of the work I do now and the work our family and our foundation does around the world. If your goal is to build a world of shared prosperity and shared responsibilities, of a sense of shared community in the sense that our differences matter. They like make life more interesting. I mean, look at this crowd today. We're in Delaware. Can you, what would this crowd have looked like 30 years ago? Too many people would have looked like me, old gray haired white guys in suits. <laughs> Looking in the crowd, I am delighted that my demographic has not been entirely eliminated. <laughs> and I, I thank you for that. But really, it's exciting. Look, we got all these students here. There are a lot more women here. There are people of different racial and ethnic backgrounds and religious backgrounds. This is a microcosm of the world here. And I think that what clearly works best everywhere are networks of creative cooperation, where people get together across lines that they often haven't crossed in the past and figure out how to do things faster better at lower costs. And that's essentially the mission of my foundation. We, I tell all the young people who work for me, if anybody asks you what we do, tell them we're in the how business. We try to figure out how to do things faster, better, at lower cost. And the best way is always with an inclusive, cooperative network. 